Hello friends, welcome back to the Eats a Guitar YouTube channel. Today I want to do a quick little video just on bias and the effect on tone. So we've got my personal 1968 Deluxe Reverb here, and I've got a gig tomorrow, so that's why it's on the workbench. I just kind of want to do a quick once over, change the tubes, and uh, bias it up. And in biasing, I, I kind of thought this would be an interesting opportunity to test something I've been very curious about. There's kind of two ways to bias an amp. The main way is to check the plate dissipation using a bias probe like this. Uh, and the other way is to use an oscilloscope where you pump in a sine wave and you check the sine wave and uh, see if there's a need to it when the amp is just, you know, set just before it starts clipping at the output there. And uh, if there's a need to it, you can warm the bias up to straighten out the curve. And uh, that's just another way to bias. I have a lot of people use both methods, but I've never actually listened to the difference side by side. So this amp's interesting. I've already kind of done a little bit of a test ahead of time just to see the gap between biasing my normal way versus getting rid of the knee with this set of uh, new TAD SDR tubes. So I wanna go ahead and just record that and take you guys along for the ride. So uh, I've got the amp on right now. Let's check the bias. So we are at 435 for the plate voltage and the uh, milliamps plate current right around 18. So I've already done the calculation and 18 milliamps is right around 60% or so. Uh, which is basically bang on what uh, I personally go for in my Fender amps. So this amp is biased perfect, quote unquote, based off of the uh, bias probe here. And we can see the tubes are matched very closely. So let's go ahead and pump in a sine wave. And I'm gonna get out the handy cam and show you guys what the waveform looks like uh, with the tubes biased, how they are currently. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume up and we'll see on the oscilloscope here, the sine wave appears. We'll get it up right about there. Now you should hopefully be able to see that there's a little bit of a knee right there. It goes up and inwards a little bit and goes up. Similar over here, there's a knee, it goes out a little bit right there. So that is uh, a sign that, you know, the th there's a little bit of, uh, gosh, what do you call it? Blocking distortion or something. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, basically, it's generally not what you want to see. You want that to be smooth. So what uh, we can do is warm up the bias and smooth that out. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up the bias. And then we will check that curve again and see what the, uh, what the plate current is. And then we'll run a loop through it with both settings and see exactly how it sounds. Is there any noticeable difference? So let's go ahead and warm it up and dial out that knee. I'm going to do it with my left hand here. And you guys can watch this. So if I cool it, you'll see, see how the knee gets worse. So we'll keep going until the knee kind of disappears right about there or so. That looks pretty good to me. So now this is much higher, but we're gonna go ahead and remove the signal and see we were at about 18 milliamps before. Now we're at 27. So, uh, and then the Plate voltage is 425, we're at 435 before, so we're quite a bit warmer now. And uh, I will pop up on the screen what the uh, the actual uh, plate dissipation is once I run the calculator into it. But we're gonna go ahead and run a loop through it with the amp set like this, and then we'll cool it back down to get this number back to 18 milliamps or so, and run the loop again and compare it side by side and see what the difference is. So let's get to it.
Well, there you guys go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you hear a difference? Did you prefer one over the other? If you preferred the hotter bias, uh, does that outweigh the negative effects of having the tubes run that much hotter? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Obviously, I've not edited this together yet as I'm speaking now, so uh, I'm not sure of my opinions. But uh, yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. And until next time, see ya.